So rotating an array left by n positions. You have to rotate the array left and right. Both we are going to do by n positions. So the position number of positions you can give that many positions you have to rotate the array. So here you now the algorithmic steps are first you take the input from the array and also number of positions you want to rotate left so that maybe n you can take our array you can take num of array and uh, so define one temporary variable so uh, like temp or you no know, to hold the first element of the array and then iterate that the number of positions first for loop you take that many iterations you uh, iterate and then store first array element in the one temporary variable then inside that another for loop you take and to move the elements towards left side so you have to shift the all the elements one position left right one by one so that's why so you need to assign the so one by one uh, element so array of uh, the next element you assign to previous so automatically So that's the whole uh, idea behind this. So same way for uh, right rotation also. So right rotation basically a little bit different. So let's uh, let's see how to do this, okay? Um, so and let's write. public so void rotate array left so by n positions the positions we can give Okay. So next you can take a ray first. So, uh, integer array, you take, okay, so num array, you take any show array, okay, so it doesn't matter, uh, maybe I'll take new int, you can store the array elements, so like this also, 
right? You just uh, store the elements two four seven one nine. Some five elements you can store it. Okay, some five elements you can store it. And then so number of positions you want to move, just uh, declare a number of positions. So n equal, for example, I want to move three three positions. So three positions and uh, so int, uh, take one temporary variable to store the first element. So iterate now, iterate the array, so n times, n times per, you can see int i equal to zero, i less than n and i plus plus. So just take temporary variable and store array first element. Array first element. So then to take another for loop to move the positions. Now we need to move with the second for loop. So what we are doing is we are moving the positions towards left side. So you can take a different variable because on already you take top i right j equal to zero. So j less than array dot length array dot length minus one array dot length minus one and j plus plus. So here, let me put the rotate, uh, move, the, move the positions, move the elements towards the left side, left. So how can you move basically? These element you have to place it here. That means yeah, I J plus one element you have to place it here. So that's the moving. So this element will go here and like this element will move here and this element will move here and this element will move here. So sorry here. So that's what uh, we need to do that. So just num of I. So num of I mean previous or num of J. You can put a J also. Num of J. So equal to number of j plus one element, you have to place it here. So you're pushing towards left side. So left side means this is the left right. So left side you are moving. And then, so you keep the, that first element, right? This first element is in the last position. So number of, so num dot length minus one. So in the last place, you put the first element. The first element, okay? So that's it. So this is the one, and you can print if you want. So print the array. Uh, you can just you know write a simple print statement. Or maybe I can print this also. Uh, before rotating, rotate uh, left. So, the same positions. And right, okay, N is here, okay. Plus erase dot to string and you just give a array. Same thing I'm writing after completing. So iterations. So n positions. 
and you can print that element. So this is what the total uh, code you need to write it. Okay. See, so it will move one by one. If you run in debug mode, you will to get a better clarity. Okay. So it will move first this one you're putting here and then you're moving all these elements to here. First iteration. Like that three times it will iterate. Three times means, so it will move three positions. Three positions it will move. So that's how it will uh, rotate left. Same way uh, we need to do. So rotate the element right rotation. So right rotation means you have to move towards right side. That means, so this element, you have to put it here. That means you have to reduce that. Basically, you have to reduce that. So that's the right rotate. So let's see that also. Right? So that is also important program. So these are the programs they are asking in the interviews. Uh, rotate right. Rotate array. Right. So almost same concept till here. So let me take this. Till here it is everything. But here you, you are not going to put that is zero, but you have to take the last element. Okay. You have to take the last element here. So last element, how can you get num dot length? Minus one num dot length minus one. So num of num dot length. So think here error. What is this error? Insert curly. Okay. So the, this is missing, right? That's why it is asking but we are we are going to write one more for loop here okay so int j equal to you have to start with the last element num dot link minus one and uh, j greater than zero and j minus minus So one more to close this for loop ending and this for loop ending here. Now what do you need to do here? So in the num of j, you put previous element num of j minus one. So that is the so concept you need to do that. And then assign in the first place the last element. So assign the first place number of zero. You, you assign the that for the element that you take here in this position. So that's it. So that's the right rotation. So how you can do right rotation? This one is after. rotate uh, right so we can print this we will take a different elements for this a different array elements I'll take three two four six. Three, seven. Okay, so different elements will take. R rotate right.
Okay. So that's the how to rotate elements. Uh, so that's one of the very important program. Uh, these two are several times asked in the interviews. Uh, please make sure you so understand this and uh, remember these two. So and also yesterday I told right. Uh, so they will ask to write a program to find the third largest number in an array. Third largest number means what you need to do. First, you have to uh, sort the array elements in uh, descending order. That means uh, you will get a higher number to lower number, right? Third largest means you can uh, so array of uh, two. If you give, you'll get a third largest element. So that is the so how you can do third largest. Even though sometimes they will ask second largest. So these are the no based on the uh, question they are asking. You can uh, so easily do that. Uh, so that's that's not a big deal. Okay. So smallest also they will ask. So uh, don't confuse. Sort, sort the elements first. Automatically, you can uh, get that. So any questions here? No questions? Yeah, if no questions, let's move on. So we'll move on to the next program. So that is a two-dimensional array we need to understand. So this is a very important two-dimensional array. Uh, so where is control structures? Let's go here. Two-dimensional arrays are very important. So till now we have practiced a single dimensional array, right? Single dimensional array. But for us in uh, normal uh, so in java selenium we need a two dimensional array so whenever you are storing data in excel sheets you need to read that data to read the data it will be in two dimensional array format like rows and columns right that rows and columns concept is uh, a two dimensional array so that two dimensional array elements uh, it's very important for us and you can see here. I think I have shown this exception, right? Did I show those exceptions? Array index out of bounds exception we have seen, right? And uh, so negative array index exception is just you give the negative number in the size. Automatically, you will get the negative array size exception. Negative index array size exception, you will get it. So you can copy one array into another array. So by just you know assigning, assigning, just put the assignment operator. So you can just assign to another array. So all these elements will be copied there. So then you can print all this. Uh, so these elements with a for each loop and for loop, whichever you want, you can use it. So that's the copying array elements is another important. And uh, largest element we have seen already. So these are all not required. Yeah, two dimensional array. So basically, a two dimensional array is nothing but uh, say, no, 
the rows and columns wise data will be arranged. So your data will be arranged in the arrays, uh, rows and columns wise. So if you see this, uh, see same as an Excel sheet. So rows will be like this and columns are like this. So column starts with a zero index, row starts with a zero index. And uh, so, and zero, this, this cell address if you want. So you have to first row and column. So that means zero, zero. Then same row, but other columns. So same row, zero row, second column, zero row, third column, zero row, fourth column, like that. So this is the two dimensional array will be declared like this, two square brackets. So once this column, one row will be iterated by all columns. So once all columns are done, so it will be iterated second row okay so this row uh, then all second row all columns third row all columns fourth row all columns like that it will iterate all the multi-dimensional arrays that's how it will work so you can declare like this int so data type two dimensional array array name equal to new so data type rows and columns rows and columns so that is the this uh so how can you declare a two dimensional arrays and you see three by three rows and five columns means so rows place you put a three rows and columns place you put a five three by five so you can three by four or three by five so however you want you can assign the elements so how to access uh, a two-dimensional array? So array of uh, the row count and column count. So you can place the value. And uh, so that, that's how you can access any element. So in the row and column, both you have to give. So basically in the for loops, if you use I and Z. So you have to give I and Z you have to give. That's a two-dimensional array how you can access. So basically, the any type you are accessing array means array name, square bracket, index. That's a single dimension. But a two-dimensional means array name, square bracket, row index, square bracket, close, and next square bracket starts column index. That's the standard formulas. So any time if you want to access, you have to use uh arrays and uh index and array in the row index and column index both you have to use so that is the rows and columns how you can access so let's write quickly the program a two-dimensional array and we'll write one matrix program also two-dimensional array So I'll write a, uh, oh, I, I didn't show this program, right? Did We didn't run this. Let's run this. Okay. I forgot it. ADOBZ dot rotate left. ADOBZ dot right rotate. So I forgot it to, to show the output to you guys, sorry. See it? So before uh, right, rotate left three positions, this is the one. After rotate three positions, see that. So now can you observe this? This element moved three positions here. That's why one came here. 
9 also will come 3 more. 9 also will move 1, 2, 3. And again, these are moving that side. So 8 is moved that side, 5 is moved that side, 2 is moved that side. Three positions it moved this. So this is the how you can left rotate. So your three positions, you're moving these elements uh, this side. And same here, if you see this, right rotate. You have to move right, right side, three positions. So two will move, one, two, three. So it came here. So four also will move three positions. That means here, it will come here. And uh, so it will rotate. The remaining elements will move to the respective way places. That's a right rotation means. So, so this is the very important interview question. Several times asked this question. Array, you will get a lot of questions. I'm not giving a guarantee these questions they will ask, but yeah, most of the questions they will ask this kind of. Uh, so, array in place, reversing array in place, and sorting, they will ask all these questions. Okay, <laughs> first write a two dimensional array. Private static, wide, two dimensional array. So typo. So this is the syntax first to always write the syntaxes, practice writing the syntaxes so that uh, we won't make any mistakes. So new data type, row size and column size. So this is the practice. Row size and column size. Now, so you have to declare. So suppose I'll declare a string array. Uh, so language is equal to new string. So three rows and two columns and three by two matrix type, three by two matrix type. Okay. So first we have to assign. Okay. So uh, values, right? We need to assign the values. So assign the values. So lang of so zero zero and so you can assign any value. Lang of zero one it will JavaScript. So first row is done, right? Uh, first row, first column. First row, second column. So first row is done. First row is done. Now, second row. So lang of two, sorry, one, right? One and zero. You can see all. So lang of one and uh, so one. So second row, second column. Right then. So next third row. So we have three rows, right? That's why all rows I'm filling the data. Lang of third row, first column. Lang of third row, so Go. Go is the another programming language. So all programming languages I arranged, I assigned. Now rows count. You need to get the rows count, right? Row count equal to 
so array name lang dot length so int call count equal to lang of zero dot length so this is how you need to get the rows count and columns count now you know rows count and columns count and also you assign the value so first this value should be there in this so array without values you cannot iterate so now let's iterate the array so for i less than row count and i plus plus so for j equal to zero j less than call count and j plus plus so lang of so you give i and j so i need to print right so to print you can use print statement okay so system dot out dot print method i'll use If you want some space, you can just give space of each value. Okay. So this is the one. After this inner for loop after, your cursor should go to next row, right? So I'll give print ln. So now the values will print automatically. Just print a two dimensional. Row. See, this is the value so you can print. See, this is the uh, this is the first row, second row, third row. First column, second column. So this is how you can uh, arrange the elements. So let's write a simple, any doubts here? Uh, we already did a uh, in nested of our loops. But here you're just giving here a rename of index, row index, column index that's it so other than that uh, nothing you are doing extra here only that point you need to consider okay i hope you hear the uh, matrix right i hope you hear matrix uh so you you know so what are the matrix you do uh that matrix so you can give, create a three by three matrix or three by two matrix, it doesn't matter. So what are the matrix? So you declare uh, those matrix, you have to sum, add two matrix. Addition of the matrix you can do. There is a lot of, uh, they are going to ask, multiplying the two matrices. And so they'll ask so many, transpose the matrix. I think we heard all this in our academics, right? uh subtracting two matrix all this uh but yeah so if you understand one and you can do the same so how many you want so let's do the first uh, addition just simple one i'll give so that uh, it will give you better confidence to you guys static void uh so add matrix, right? Add matrix. So you have to take, uh, so two arrays, right? Uh, I, array A, array B, you can take, so any of the arrays. So I'm declaring two arrays, two, two dimensional arrays, basically. So A equal to, so you can just declare you can declare the arrays like this also. You can declare arrays so like uh, each, right? Each uh, uh, 
column each row in one uh, curly brackets. So let me show you now. I think you have here. You can see here. Uh, yeah. So when initializing a two dimensional array, you enclose each row's initialization list in its own set of brackets, curly brackets. So this 